Hey guys, it's Ben, Ben Terry Farm. And uh, I haven't made a video in quite some time. I've been really, really busy. Um, but I came out here to check my corn today. And uh, this is the open pollinated corn that we grow. And I'm very happy with how it looks right now. And I wanted to share just some uh, images of the corn with you guys. Just show you how nice it looks. And here's kind of like a shot of above as high as I can get up and um, you can see it's a very nice dark green color and the dark green basically just is an indication that it's it's healthy and has plenty of nitrogen and I kind of want to talk about that I've talked about it in the past about the nitrogen um, you see we left a strip there in between the two plots um, and that was because <laughs> My flail mower, where I was, uh, I'll show you why the nitrogen is so high here, um, or why it, it worked out so well with no fertilizers, no no synthetic chemicals, no poisons in the ground. Um, so this strip in here had crimson clover, which I posted a picture a couple months ago. Actually, it's coming back right now because it, it went to seed. Let's see if I can get a shot of this stuff down here. Um, because there's also Dutch clover in here in red and pink, but you see the crimson clover is coming back. And uh, <clears throat> this right here actually is a turnip uh, seed head. If you can get that to focus. Little tiny turnip seeds in there. There's one. Um, and that was that was what the cover crop was. And so all I did was I came out here and I flail mowed it. Well, what happened was my flail mower broke. A bearing went out. I was kind of pressed for time. Um, it was really dry then, but I knew rain was coming. I really want to get the corn in the ground, so I just left this strip in the middle to go. Just whatever. Whatever was going to come up from the seed bank. And, uh, yeah, there's crimson clover all through here. There's still some of these turnip heads full of seeds. So we have millions of turnip seeds in here, and the crimson clover's on the ground coming in. And actually, this is a very lush. This would be a great uh, place to bring the cows out. Of course, I don't have fence out here, but... And, and graze this, but I think I'm just going to bail it up and feed it to them. I'm going to turn the camera back here. Um, but yeah, I just want to show what's possible. Anyone that's not familiar with what we're doing here um, has never seen one of my videos before. I've talked about this a couple of years in a row now, uh, growing the corn. Um, but yeah, that's all we do. Uh, we have crimson clover. And uh, <clears throat> I put the turnips in there just kind of to loosen up the soil and maybe scavenge some uh, nutrients. And um, I plowed this under back in very early June, and it was not looking. I had, I, I'll admit, like I was pessimistic at the time how this was going to turn out. But I knew even with the drought, that was major, ma mostly because of the drought. Um, the drought kind of had me down. Um, but uh, I knew things could turn around, and so I just kept plugging away. And we planted this corn. I still think we planted a little too thick for the open pollinated, a little too high population, but. Um, right now it looks very good. Um, so we're very, we're very blessed. Uh, we got some rain last night and we got a lot of rain since I planted it. And so things are looking good right now. I just want to share that with y'all and, um, show you what's possible. Uh, you know, we save the seed. That's another thing I forgot to mention. Anyone doesn't know we save our seed and, uh, I'm going to continue saving it year after year. And I think the corn, you know, it'll acclimate to our, our ground and it'll do better and better every year. And uh, it's just an amazing thing to come out here and see um, a field of corn done the right way without any uh, poisonous or toxic things involved. Um, and it's a very nutritious corn. It's high in protein. It's uh, at least uh, 25, 30, uh, sometimes 40% higher in protein than the conventional stuff. And and it's, po it's uh, poison free. So it's good for the animals, good for us. All right, well, I'll try to keep you updated more often. Um, kind of had a lot of things going on, but I'll try to get back at it here, post more things. All right, thanks for watching and please share it.